Number of seven digit numbers, which are multiples of 11, and they have to be formed using only this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, these seven digits. Right. Obviously, there is no repetition, and uh, we have to use these seven numbers, and they should be multiples of 11. Right. Now, the sum of all of these numbers 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, 10 plus 5, 15 plus 7, 22 plus 9, which is equal to 31. Right. So, that means whichever number, whichever sum digit number that we are creating, the sum of digits will be equal to 31. Right. And uh, these numbers that we are creating should be multiples of 11. Right. And when we create a seven digit number, we have odd digits. I mean, odd locations. Odd locations would be 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 odd locations and 3 even locations. Right. And the sum of odd locations plus sum of even locations is the total sum which should be equal to 31. So, odd plus even locations, the sum should be equal to 31. That means one of them, one of them, uh, whatever. So, one of the sum should be odd, another should be even. Because sum of two numbers is an odd number. That means one of the number is an odd number. If you call a plus b equals to 31, then either one, either a or b has to be odd and the other one has to be even. Right. So, one of the numbers, one of the sums, either odd sum should be, uh, should be odd or and even should be even or odd sum of odd position numbers can be even and sum of even number position can be odd. Right. So, what that also means and the difference because it has to be divisible by 11, the difference of the sum of odd numbers and sum of even position numbers that has to be multiple of 11. Right. It can be 0, it can be 11, it can be 22. But because one of these numbers, two numbers is odd and then another is even, the difference cannot be even. So, 22 and 0 are simply ruled out. So, the difference of odd position numbers and even position numbers should be equal to 11 only. Okay. So, if you call one of them as x, then other would be 31 minus x, 31 minus x and the difference of these two, 31 minus x minus x. The difference of these two should be equal to 11. That means 2x equals to 20. So, x equals to 10. What does that mean? So, one set, the sum should be 10. Another set, the sum should be 21. Right. And if you take uh, the odd set, the position, the num numbers position in the odd uh, locations. So, then the sum should be 10. What does that mean? We can only pick the smallest four numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4. The sum is 10. We cannot pick 5, 7 or 9. So, if these position, the numbers in, uh, if four numbers together have to total up to 10, that means the four numbers are only these numbers. We can't pick any one of these. Right. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 10 and these are the smallest numbers. So, if the numbers in the odd position, if they have to add up to 10, then that means only we, these 4 we can pick. That is in 4 factorial and remaining 5, 7, 9 in these 3 places, that is 3 factorial. 4 factorial to 3 factorial kind of numbers. These many numbers that we can create because we can, after picking these 4 in this 4 slot, we can arrange them also in 4 factorial wise. And remaining three numbers also we can arrange in three factorial number of ways. Right. Four factorial into three factorial are the number of numbers where the odd slot numbers are adding up to 10. Now, even slot numbers can also add up to 10. What is the case? Either even slot numbers should add up to 10 or odd slot numbers should add up to 10. So, that means even slot numbers can also add up to 10. So, what are the cases? What are the cases when even slots add up to 10? The only these cases where we can take 1, 2 and 7, right? 1 plus 2 is 3 and then 7 which is 10 or 1 plus 3 is useless because there is no 1 plus 3 is 4, there is no 6 here and 1 plus 4 which is 5 and 5, 1, 4 and 5 and 1, 7 is useless, 1, 9 is useless, then 2, 3 and 5 that is possible but if you go beyond 4, 2, 4 is 6 and 6 plus 4, another 4 we need which is not possible, 2 plus 5 is uh, 2 plus 5, 2, 5 and 3 only which we have already taken. So, and there are no other possibilities. 3, 4, 5. That is clearly more than 10. So, there are no other possibilities. Even slots if they have to add up to 10, only these three options are there. So, what does that mean? These three can be arranged again in three factorial ways and remaining four can be arranged in four factorial ways for each of these cases. For 1 to 7 also, this 1 to 7 can be arranged in three factorial 
and remaining four can be arranged in four factorial. So uh, for all of these three cases, three factorial into four factorial. So that's why we have three times of three factorial into four factorial here, and one time of three factorial into four factorial in the case where this uh, sum of odd numbers is adding up to sum of uh, numbers in the odd places is adding up to ten. Basically, we have only two ways. One is odd slot numbers adding up to ten or even slot numbers adding up to 10. Odd slot numbers adding up to 10, there's only one way, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. Even slot adding up to 10, there are three ways. And each way will have three factorial into four factorial number of arrangements. So the total is this time, three times of three factorial into four factorial plus one time of three factorial into four factorial. That is four times of uh, four factorial into three factorial, four times of which is equal to 576, right? That is the correct answer.